What's going on guys, it's Isaac. Today we are starting with part three of Isaac's stash. Uh, and we're gonna start with the Capri. So let's get started. What we have here is a 79 Mercury Capri 302. I robbed the carburetor off of it. 302, four barrel, four speed car manual four speed. I think that's a factory sunroof. I think. Or or maybe a dealer installed or something. Um, yeah. Uh, it is a hatch, but it's not the bubble back. I don't like the bubble backs. So this is the RS. Pretty cool car. It's a first year of the Fox body, I'm told, 79. So plans for this car, get her running and driving as is, uh, which I drove it in here. All I have to do is put a carburetor back on it and it should drive, uh, but it needs power booster bad. So uh, the next vehicle is my 1971 Chevelle Malibu. Body's in fantastic shape, uh, even though it obviously uh, has been sitting a long time. Uh, it's got the cowl induction hood, which has come when my little uh, thing came undone. But there it is. Uh, I have glass for it. There's no motor or transmission in it right now. The plans with this car is get it running and driving and drive it around. Um, I don't plan on painting it. I just figured I'd clean it up, buff it up, and, and, and do my usual drive it and enjoy it. I plan on putting uh, 350 in it with maybe a 700R4 transmission for you know something with overdrive because I, I think this would be a good cruiser car. So that's my plans with, with this car. Uh, really good shape. I, I found a, a Texas tag in it so I'm betting this car is from Texas. So not a bad car. Um, I'm, I'm sure y'all have seen my 53 Chevy. Really, really cool car. Some small block V8 in it. Made it to the three speed on the column. And if y'all hadn't seen this car, you ought to check it out in an earlier video. I'm sure it's been in Isaac. I think it'll be fine, maybe, but it's definitely in an early, like, cars and cameras videos, probably two years ago. So, my plans with this car, keep it, drive it, enjoy it. Uh, this would make a pretty good car for the Hot Rod Power Tour, but I need to uh, change the rear end in it. It's got the original torque tube rear end in it. And, of course, I'd have to change the transmission. I'd like to keep it stick shift. Uh, it'd be really cool to keep it on the column, but let's face it, if I put a different transmission in it, it's probably going to wind up on the floor. Uh, and I definitely need to rebuild the front end on that car because this car's got kingpins. They are awful. Put the car up in the air, and you can wiggle the tires around, front tires around like crazy. So... Let's see, what else do I have? The next thing is this 1957 Chevy Bel Air. I have all the parts to put this car back together. And believe me, it's a lot of work. But it's a two-door hardtop Bel Air. They are... They're wonderful cars. I've always wanted one. I got one now. I need to just get her together. 
So, like I said, I have all the parts to put this thing back together. So, anyhow. Uh, sorry I can't get a great view of it, but, I mean, you can guess what kind of shape it's in just by looking at it. She's been around a while. Uh, 97 Mazda Miata. Big story behind this car. Uh, I plan on keeping it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, moving on. We've got a beetle over there. Let's let's go over to to the beetle. Uh, that seventy. I think it's a seventy-four beetle. I bought it from Taylor. Uh, we even did a video on it. I think that's on Cars and Cameras, early Cars and Cameras. Maybe it's on my channel. I get I get the two channels mixed up when it comes to my uh, the car part. You know, in the early Cars and Cameras, I actually brought the cars to Cars and Cameras. So, oh. Yeah, sorry about the mess, guys. We've been uh, working on uh, these wonderful carts here. Uh, but uh, there's my Triumph Tiger. Uh, that is exactly how I bought it. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Really good deal. And, of course, it's a keeper. That's something I don't ever plan on getting rid of. I, I wasn't planning on getting rid of my other Triumph. If you watched the earlier videos, uh, and I got I got rid of it and regretted it. So here's uh, the '74 Super Beetle. I uh, need to wax it up again, but a uh, pretty sweet car. Uh, runs and drives right now. So I, I drive around the shop occasionally, moving forward, backwards. Uh, great car. So that's that's it for the cars in here. Oh, dang it! All right, I've got another car that we need to uh, visit. Maybe I'll visit it tomorrow at lunchtime. So uh, it's that video I did before. We had the 4.3 liter V6 sitting in the back of my truck. Well, that is the car that's going to get it. And I guess you'll see it here in a second. Okay, guys, it's the next day. I was hoping to show you this last car during the daylight, but, you know, it's winter time. It gets dark at like 5 o'clock. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it here during lunch. Uh, so, I thought I'd show you my 1979 Vet that that 4.3 is going in so like i said it's dark uh i'm sure y'all remember my 66 chevy truck small block 400 uh tci transmission in it 700 r4 uh 12 volt rear end pretty good truck uh you know no, nothing nothing too special so anyhow let me show you my 79 vet that the 4.3 is going in bam So what we have here is a 1979 Chevette. Uh, love the color. I bought this car for, I think, $200. Uh, Four-cylinder, manual transmission. It is a, it is going to be a sweet car. So that 4.3 is going in that car. So hopefully she'll be a screamer. Sleeper Screamer. Screamer Sleeper. Either way, it's going to be awesome. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Sorry, guys. There's... Uh, I think I made the decision that this is going to be the last video on Ike's Rides for right now because some people just kind of ruin it for others. Like I said, I've uh, had some... Uh, bad 
things going on lately with upsetting people that I'm not selling them my Nova, my Camaro, my uh, truck. You know, I need a truck. Okay, what do you need it for? You need a daily or do you need a junk truck? No, I need a daily. Well, I don't have any dailies for you. And then, of course, screw you, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, so I... Uh, maybe my other stuff y'all will see coming up in upcoming videos as projects. Now, you know, December 19th is coming soon and a lot of these vlogs are going to turn into like build videos so I hope y'all will enjoy the build videos and I, I guess I'll probably do occasional vlogs or whatever as well so alright guys I will catch y'all later